Hey everybody, I'm Gigi of Gigi Eats Celebrities. Okay, so I have to be completely real and honest with all of you, which I typically am, but in this situation, it has nothing to do with food. That's right guys, today's video has nothing to do with food, so if that's what you tuned in for, well, you can say goodbye now. <laughs> that being said, I think you might find this rather interesting, question mark. So I have to be honest with you that I have never, ever, 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 ever felt like an adult. Ever. Even after buying a house and becoming pregnant and getting married, I have never felt like an adult. And I think part of the reason why I have never felt like an adult is because I do not dress like an adult. I just don't give a fuck about fashion. I really do not care about fashion whatsoever. And much to land in chagrin, I always wear yoga clothes or tight spandex or basically shorts that ride up my butt because I just really don't care. <laughs> I don't have the patience to go in my closet and pick out something that matches. And honestly, since I work from home, like what is the point of dressing up? Exactly, there is no point. I typically wear my giraffe robe from mm, 8 a.m. until about 3 p.m. And then I'm like, huh, I can't go do errands in my giraffe robe, so maybe I should actually put some clothes on. And then my outfit of choice typically consists of booty shorts and a tank top. Kind of like what I'm wearing right now, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. Now, when it comes to actually like dressing up and going out and all that kind of stuff, the most I'll do is put on like a t-shirt dress, but you better believe I am rocking my Adidas sandals wherever I go, despite how classy and fashionable or whatever it's supposed to be, because my Adidas sandals are my staple. They define who I am as a person. People know me for these Adidas sandals, I swear. They do not come off my feet. However, this one time Landon and I were on the roof of my old apartment and he took them off my feet somehow. I don't know how he did it, but he has magical powers apparently. And he threw them off the roof, threw them off the roof, everybody. I freaked out. I started to cry because I'm pathetic for sure. But no, seriously, that is my fashion staple. And if anyone were to tell me how to dress, which after watching adulting on bravotv.com, I was told how to dress like an adult by Margaret Josephs from the Housewives of New Jersey, I would still wear my Adidas sandals because one thing that she mentioned, and I'll get into all of this in a minute, she said that you need to have a signature piece. And you know what? My Adidas sandals are my signature piece. Anyways, you guys might be wondering what this adulting on bravotv.com is. Well, it's a new little series on Bravo TV with Bravo celebrities, ha ha ha, where they come on and they give their tips to make sure you know how to be an adult. And let me tell you, this girl has been watching all of them because as I said earlier, I don't feel like an adult whatsoever. Now the one episode that truly stood out to me was How to Dress Like an Adult, where the host of the show interviews Margaret Josephs of The Real Housewives of New Jersey, who happens to be a powerhouse in pigtails, everybody. Yeah, this lady rocks the pigtails regardless of the situation, just like I would rock my Adidas regardless of the situation too. And she happens to be a fashion and accessories designer as well as a lifestyle expert. I mean, who better to get advice about how to dress like an adult than someone with her clout? Now, initially when I started watching this episode and I saw Margaret Josephs, I was like, dude, I can't take you seriously. You got little pigtails. Makes me think of a lot of different things that I won't get into in this video. But then I looked down at my feet and I was like, dude, you're wearing Adidas sandals. I'm pretty sure when people meet you, they can't take you seriously either. That being said, the only way Margaret Josephs can actually rock those pigtails is because she rocks them with confidence. And this girl right here rocks her Adidas sandals with confidence too. That's right, guys. I rock those babies and when people ask questions, I'm like, dude, I'm comfortable. You're wearing stilettos that are probably ruining your feet right now. And my feet are like, woo, woo. I am not uncomfortable right now. <laughs> exactly, my feet are never uncomfortable because those shoes are freaking amazing. And you know, if I'm not wearing my Adidas, I'm totally wearing my Crocs, just saying. And I wonder how Margaret Josephs would like those. <laughs> They're camo, by the way, and pretty freaking awesome. While watching adulting, I learned that Margaret Joseph's first tip is having confidence with your signature piece. That's awesome. I already do it, so I feel like, okay, one step in the right direction to becoming an adult, or feeling like an adult, kind of, sort of, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> now, the next tip Margaret offers up to the ladies, specifically, is, ladies, 
wear a bra. Yes, wear a bra. If you don't wear a bra, people are only gonna start looking at this region right here because they're gonna notice that you might be cold or excited or something of that nature. Now, Margaret doesn't care what you do on the weekends. She's only strictly talking about professional settings here. So by all means, free boob it on the weekends if you want to, but when you're in a professional setting, like when you go and have an interview for a potential job, yeah, put the bra on and just deal with it. The second you leave that interview, rip that baby off if you want to. <laughs> I know I would. However, I always wear sports bras, so I wonder if Margaret would be okay with the fact that I always wear sports bras. Yeah. They're very comfortable, what can I say? Now, leggings. Yes, obviously this video is getting into ladies' fashion more than men's fashion. However, men, if you like to rock the leggings, more power to you. But anyway, Margaret's advice for leggings is, sure, you know, everyone has leggings in their closet. They're becoming this mainstream staple these days, but in order to wear leggings in a professional setting, dress it up with a blazer, dress it up with cute shoes or boots or whatever, and people won't really notice that you're wearing pants that are stupid comfortable and you feel like you could rock the entire day. Now, when you go into my closet, yeah, there are a lot of leggings in here. Like all of my pants in here are leggings. That being said, I do exercise Margaret's advice when it comes to dressing up leggings. I put on blazers, I put on cute button down shirts, I try to rock cute shoes. I've been really getting invested in going to shoe stores and finding cute shoes that would actually dress up my leggings. So far I still rock my Adidas, but I'm trying, I'm trying really hard. It's not as easy as you think, especially if you don't want to spend like $400 on a cute pair of boots. And this girl does not want to do that. I like to spend money on food as opposed to clothing. Now, speaking of spending money on food versus clothing, the next piece of advice sounds like you might be spending more money on clothing than food, and I don't like that. Margaret says that the one outfit that every woman should have in her closet, a tuxedo with gold shoes. Uh, if that's what it takes to be an adult, well, then I don't wanna be an adult because I don't want that kind of outfit ever in my closet. I feel like I would look really stupid if I wore that, and I'm not a huge fan of gold, so I'm gonna say no thanks. However, there are tons of ladies out there who can rock that with no problem and all the confidence in the world and more power to you. This girl right here would rather wear her leggings, her sports bra, and her Adidas sandals. <laughs> or her t-shirt dress when she's really trying to dress up, if you will. Uh, yeah. I'm a stubborn little fashionista, that's for sure. Moving on from this tuxedo advice, there's one thing that Margaret mentions that you should not do that, I'm not gonna lie, I totally do it sometimes. Safety pinning your clothes so they fit okay. Yep, I've done this before. I've definitely done it with bras, I've done it with sweaters that don't have a clasp, yet I want it to close. I've also done it on camera, but you can't see what's going on behind the scenes here, so it doesn't even matter. Although right now I definitely don't need a clothing pin because my baby is popping out, so it makes all the clothes nice and tight. But yeah, she recommends that you don't use clothing pins to securely fasten your outfits to make them look like they fit you. Instead, go to the tailor. There are very affordable tailors out there, especially if you go to your dry cleaner. Your dry cleaner knows how to tailor clothes. So just go head on over to your nearest dry cleaner and ask for you know your skirt to be hemmed a little bit more or your shirt to be taken in a tiny bit. That being said, I don't really like to tailor my shirts because you know after a big meal, I like to have a little room in them, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Hashtag food baby. Yes, I get one all the time, especially when pregnant. My profile view definitely grows like 15 feet, just saying. <laughs> That's a sight for sure. So yeah, no on the safety pins. However, yeah, I'm gonna keep them in my closet just in case. Shh, don't tell Margaret that one. While watching adulting, Margaret did say something that I was super stoked about. She said that flowy shirts are totally okay as long as you pair them under a nice jacket or something of that nature. Well, guess what? As I just mentioned, I have all the flowy shirts in the world, so guess what? I don't have to get rid of any of them. Yes! All I gotta do is buy more cute jackets or blazers or whatever to throw them underneath. I only have like two jackets, totally got rid of a whole bunch of other ones, not gonna lie, because I was like, this girl's never gonna wear them, why would I bother with this crap? 
<laughs> yeah, if you want to be an adult, Gigi, you got to get some jackets that are appropriate for situations in the professional world. <sighs> That's going to take a lot of pep talks in order for me to get to the store and actually buy cute blazers. <laughs> One thing I don't do that Margaret actually says you should not do as well is buy clothing at the dollar store. Mm -mm. The only things I buy at the dollar store are like bottles of water when I'm super thirsty and that's the only thing around. But that's literally it. In fact, I don't really go to dollar stores very often because for some reason, about two or three days after I ever go to one, I get sick. Yeah, that's weird. So no dollar stores for me, no dollar stores for you unless you're getting toothpaste or something like that because, you know, a dollar for toothpaste, that's pretty great. Otherwise, don't do your clothing shopping at a dollar store. Thrift shop, that's cool, but a dollar store, Eh, not so much. Ladies, gentlemen, hats, are they appropriate in a professional setting? Not so much. However, they are appropriate when you're working out or on the weekends or whatever like that. So have your hat day on the weekend. But when it comes to having an interview or, you know, talking to your boss or something like that, yeah, it's probably best not to wear a hat, especially not like a backwards hat. If you wore a top hat when you went to go meet your boss, be kind of weird. They would probably think you're not taking the situation seriously and they may fire you. So leave the top hat at home. Now the last piece of advice that Margaret gives is about handbags. So men, sorry, this probably doesn't apply to you unless you do in, in fact carry a purse, which more power to you again. But ladies, handbags. Okay, so there's a shelf life on handbags. The second that thing starts to look like it went around the block 15 times, yeah, you probably need to replace it. My favorite brand on the face of the planet when it comes to handbags is Balenciaga, and I definitely have more than two because they go through the gamut with me. I run those babies to the ground. I mean, they're not super cheap, so I'm going to use and abuse it until it's really time to get a new one. And I actually just got a new one for my birthday this year, thanks to my husband. Woo woo, brownie points for Landon, for sure, especially because he got me a green one, ha ha. But again, ladies, if your bag looks like it was run over by a truck eight times, it's probably best you go get a new bag. And look, you don't have to go break the bank. Go to Marshall's. Marshall's has some brand name bags over there. That's a nice little tip for you. Marshall's is where it's at. I'll go with you, because I actually really like Marshall's. So that is the only place I like to go shopping, is Marshall's, because there's a lot of stimulation. Not everything is the same, and you'll always find something unique if you dig deep enough. I always find that new t-shirt dress to look very fancy when I go out. <laughs> so those are the tips that I learned from Margaret Josephs in regards to how to dress like an adult. Now, I do some of them, not all of them, and I'm not gonna lie, I probably won't adopt a lot of them either because I'm stubborn. And again, I work from home. I don't really go to the corporate setting that often. And when I do, I rock my staple fashion piece, my Adidas sandals. That's right, when I go and have interviews or when I go to auditions or whatever, I always rock my Adidas because it's a conversation starter. And when people hear how confident I am about wearing my Adidas sandals, I think they appreciate that. I hope you guys learned a little something about how to uh, dress like an adult. I definitely still feel like I'm gonna wear my booty shorts and tank tops, but if I ever walk through a mall and I see a tuxedo and gold shoes, I may just go try that baby on and see how stupid I look. <laughs> I will put that shit on my Insta stories, everybody, at Gigi Eats on Instagram if you wanna follow along and see what kind of fashion disasters I get into. But anyways, that's it for me, and I hope you guys go check out adulting at bravotv.com. They have a lot of awesome different episodes that help you with adulting, because we all could use a little help with that. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I do hope you subscribe to my YouTube channel, and also let me know in the comments below do you feel like an adult? If so, what makes you feel like an adult? And also, what is your fashion staple item? What piece of clothing or accessory do you wear all the time because you love it? And number two, because it's your thing. Everyone knows you for it. As I said earlier, mine is my Adidas sandals. Anyways, I'll see you guys all next week. Thank you so much for watching and peace.